Venom evolved hundreds of millions of years ago, creating a chemical arms race between predator and prey. Today on Helpful Think, we're going to dive into some of the most venomous animals living on Earth. But before we do, let's provide some context around venom and its humble origins. Venom is a marvel of evolution, one of the animal kingdom's most ancient and effective weapons. It equips creatures with a powerful mechanism for either subduing prey or deterring predators, offering them a significant survival advantage. Unlike toxins in poisonous animals, which are absorbed, inhaled, or ingested, venom is delivered directly into the target through specialized structures like fangs, stingers, or spines. Venom's origins are remarkably diverse and date back hundreds of millions of years. Spider venom, for instance, is believed to have evolved from a single protein around 375 million years ago. Similarly, snake venom first appeared approximately 60 to 80 million years ago, marking a key adaptation in their predatory toolkit. Even prehistoric creatures weren't left out of the venomous arms race. Researchers have identified a venom-using dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period, 145 to 66 million years ago, that likely relied on venom to immobilize its prey. Venom has evolved independently across almost all animal groups except birds, tailoring its potency through a dynamic chemical arms race as prey species develop resistance. This evolutionary tug of war has resulted in some of nature's most lethal chemical cocktails. Today, venomous species account for an estimated 15% of all animals, ranging from microscopic jellyfish to massive snakes and lizards. And without further ado, let's dive into 10 of the most venomous animals in the world. Kicking off our list is the Irukandji box jellyfish. This jellyfish may be tiny, but its sting is anything but insignificant. Measuring a mere 0.8 inches across, this diminutive jellyfish wields tentacles that extend up to 3.2 feet, equipped with venom-filled stinging cells designed to deliver a devastating attack. These specialized stinging cells, known as nematocysts, line the jellyfish's four tentacles and fire venom-filled barbs into their target. The venom, which causes a condition known as Irukandji syndrome, is a potent cocktail that can wreak havoc on the nervous system, potentially paralyzing the lungs and heart. While its venom serves as a defense mechanism against predators, the Irukandji box jellyfish is also notorious for accidental encounters with humans, often resulting in excruciating pain, nausea, difficulty breathing, and in severe cases, life-threatening complications. Despite its small size, this jellyfish remains one of the most dangerous marine creatures in the world, highlighting the often underestimated perils of the ocean. Now we move on to an animal shrouded in mystery, the platypus. The male platypus is a fascinating and rare example of a venomous mammal. Adult males possess hollow spurs on their hind legs connected to venom glands, which produce a potent venom. Interestingly, venom production in platypuses peaks during the mating season, leading researchers to hypothesize that the venom plays a role in male competition for mates, rather than in predation or defense. When engaging in a confrontation, a male platypus injects venom by gripping its rival with its hind legs and driving the sharp spurs into the opponent's flesh. This behavior suggests the venom acts as a tool to assert dominance or deter competitors. Despite its effectiveness in platypus rivalries, the venom is not lethal to humans or other platypuses. However, it is capable of causing severe pain and significant swelling, as documented by those who have had close encounters with the spurred mammal. The unique venom of the platypus is a cocktail of bioactive compounds, including proteins that likely evolved for this specific purpose. This adaptation highlights the diverse ways venom can evolve and be utilized in the animal kingdom, even among non-traditional venomous species like mammals. Next on our list comes as no surprise, the Black Mamba of Africa. The Black Mamba is one of Africa's most notorious snakes, renowned for its lethal venom, impressive speed, and formidable reputation. Measuring up to 8 feet long, though some individuals can grow even larger, it holds the title as the longest venomous snake on the continent. Additionally, it ranks among the fastest snakes on Earth, capable of reaching speeds of 12.5 miles per hour, which it uses primarily to escape threats rather than to pursue prey. A bite from a black mamba is considered one of the deadliest in the world. Each fang can deliver between 12 and 20 drops of venom, and remarkably, it only takes two drops of this potent neurotoxin to kill a human, as explained by forensic pathologist Ryan Blumenthal. The venom acts rapidly, attacking the nervous system 
and causing symptoms such as paralysis, respiratory failure, and cardiac arrest. Without prompt administration of antivenom, black mamba bites are almost universally fatal, making swift medical treatment critical. Despite their fearsome reputation, black mambas are not inherently aggressive, and will often retreat if given the opportunity. However, when cornered or threatened, they can become highly defensive, delivering multiple strikes in quick succession. This combination of speed, size, and venom potency has cemented the black mamba's status as one of the most dangerous snakes on the planet. Up next on the list is a lesser-mentioned animal known as the Geography Cone Snail. The Geography Cone Snail is a master of venomous lethality, found in the reefs of the Indo-Pacific and capable of delivering a potentially fatal sting. Growing up to 6 inches long, it is the most venomous of the approximately 500 known species of cone snails. This striking marine mollusk earns its reputation with an arsenal of over 10,000 active compounds in its venom, making it a treasure trove for biomedical research and a nightmare for its prey, or unlucky humans. The cone snail's venom is delivered through a specialized harpoon-like tooth ejected from a proboscis, a flexible and extendable appendage. The venom contains a complex cocktail of toxins, collectively known as conotoxins, which act rapidly to paralyze prey by targeting the nervous system. This efficient mechanism enables the snail to immobilize fish or other small creatures in an instant. For humans, a sting from the geography cone snail is extremely dangerous, and there is currently no anti-venom. Treatment focuses on supportive care, such as maintaining breathing and circulation, until the effects of the venom subside. While deaths from cone snail stings are rare, they are not unheard of. Approximately 15 fatalities have been reported over the past three decades, according to a 2016 study published in the International Journal of Clinical Pharmacology and Therapeutics. Despite its danger, the geography cone snail's venom holds promise for medical science. Researchers are studying its compounds for potential applications in pain management and drug development, underscoring the dual nature of this deadly yet fascinating creature. And next up we have the bullet ant. The bullet ant is infamous for delivering one of the most excruciating stings in the insect world, often described as feeling like being shot with a bullet. This small but fearsome insect, found in the rainforests of Central and South America, measures about 2 centimeters in length, but makes a massive impression with its painful defense mechanism. The bullet ant's sting delivers venom that targets nerve cells responsible for pain perception, triggering an intense and burning sensation. The pain can last for up to 24 hours without relief and is often accompanied by localized paralysis, uncontrollable shaking, and swelling. While the venom is potent enough to paralyze and kill small prey, it is not lethal to humans. The pain caused by the sting is so legendary that it is ranked at the top of the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, where it is described as pure, intense, brilliant pain. Like walking over flaming charcoal with a 3-inch nail embedded in your heel. Despite its formidable sting, the bullet ant plays a unique role in some indigenous cultures. In certain Amazonian tribes, young men endure bullet ant stings as part of initiation rites to prove their strength and bravery, wearing gloves filled with live ants for extended periods. While their sting may be a nightmare for anyone unlucky enough to encounter one, bullet ants are not aggressive and typically sting only when their nests are threatened. These resilient creatures serve as a stark reminder of the powerful adaptations found in nature, packed into even the smallest bodies. Moving right along we have the Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons are the largest lizards on earth capable of growing up to 10 feet in length and weighing over 150 pounds. Found on a few Indonesian islands, these apex predators are fearsome hunters equipped with huge serrated teeth and a potent biological arsenal. For decades, scientists believed that the dragons relied solely on their bacteria-filled saliva to infect prey after biting. However, a 2009 study revealed that Komodo dragons also produce venom in glands located in their lower jaws. This venom contains compounds that prevent blood from clotting and induce shock, rapidly incapacitating prey. The combination of venom and severe blood loss ensures that victims succumb quickly, allowing the dragons to track and feast at their leisure. Komodo dragons share an evolutionary connection with their extinct relative Megalania, 
an enormous monitor lizard that lived during the Pleistocene epoch. Megalania could reach lengths of up to 23 feet and is believed to have been the largest venomous animal to ever exist. This prehistoric giant likely hunted large mammals and dominated its ecosystem, much like its smaller modern-day cousin. The dual hunting strategy of venom and physical force makes Komodo dragons one of nature's most formidable predators, capable of taking down animals as large as deer, water buffalo, and even smaller Komodo dragons. Their unique adaptations ensure their survival as apex predators in their isolated island habitats. And next on the list brings an unlikely fellow, the Bruno's cask-headed frog. These little guys are among the rare examples of venomous amphibians. Unlike most of their relatives which rely on toxic skin secretions for defense, these frogs possess a unique and deadly adaptation. They inject venom through bony spines on their heads. The frogs store their venom in specialized skin glands located around their skulls. When threatened, they use the sharp, spine-like projections of their skulls to pierce the skin of a predator or attacker, directly injecting the venom. This mechanism is a fascinating evolutionary development, differing significantly from the passive toxin release of most other amphibians. Their venom is extraordinarily potent, 25 times stronger than that of a pit viper. Just 0.03 ounces of this venom could theoretically kill 80 humans, making them one of the most venomous animals on Earth relative to their size. This incredible lethality is a powerful deterrent to potential predators, ensuring these frogs remain unbothered in their natural habitat. Bruno's cask-headed frogs inhabit the rainforests of Brazil, blending their fascinating defensive capabilities with a striking example of evolutionary ingenuity. Their venom delivery system showcases the diverse ways in which animals adapt to survive in competitive and dangerous ecosystems. Up next we head to the ocean where we meet the blue-ringed octopus. This small but deadly marine creature has four known species. The greater blue-ringed octopus, the southern blue-ringed octopus, the blue-lined octopus, and the common blue-ringed octopus. Each of these species is tiny enough to fit in the palm of your hand, yet they wield a neurotoxin so potent that it can paralyze and kill humans within minutes. This venom contains tetrodotoxin, one of the most powerful toxins known, which blocks nerve signals, causing paralysis and potentially fatal respiratory failure. Alarmingly, there is no known antidote for blue-ringed octopus venom. Their name comes from the vivid blue rings that appear when they feel threatened or prepare to attack. These rings serve as a clear warning to predators or unwary humans. Despite their small size and beautiful appearance, blue-ringed octopuses are among the most dangerous animals in the ocean. Next up we have the Russell's viper, one of the world's deadliest snake species. The Russell's viper is responsible for the majority of the 58,000 snake bite deaths in India every year, according to a study published in 2021. The viper kills so many because it combines potent venom with close proximity to humans. Snakes often rest in paddy fields and cross paths with farmers during harvest season. Their venom can lead to a wide range of symptoms, including severe bleeding, organ damage and kidney failure, according to a 2014 report. Anti-venom is available, but people bitten are often in rural areas without quick access to care, while many still rely on traditional healers instead of medical professionals. And lastly, we have the Sydney funnelweb spider. These spiders are found across coastal areas of Eastern Australia. Females can reach up to 3.14 inches across, while the largest male recorded was 3.1 inches across, about the size of an Olympic gold medal. The venom produced by males contains a neurotoxin that can be deadly for humans. A bite from a Sydney funnelweb spider can kill in as little as 15 minutes, although no deaths have been recorded since antivenom was introduced almost 50 years ago. And that'll do it. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like and tell us in the comments which animal we missed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.